um, the, the, a trip of a few minutes from Asaba to Ubolu has become a boat ride. I've had to abandon the car there to get across. Um, the last time this happened was sometime in 2012. Uh, I must say that it was worse than this that time, but um, we cannot say yet uh, if this is the worst we're going to experience this year. Because uh, as you can see, uh, I mean, everywhere is filled up with water. This is supposed to be the um, the asphalted road from Asaba to Ubolu, but we are here on the boat now. Uh, it reminds me of Chiki and the river, <laughs> you know. And um, in the last few days, it has not rained here, it must be noted. But whether it's it rains or not, the water volume is increasing, simply because um, the other countries that host the river Niger before it gets to Nigeria, countries like Guinea, Mali, and Niger, have opened up their dams. So, as the, so the water could flow through and that is why the volume here keeps on increasing. Don't forget we are the last country to host the River Niger before the Atlantic Ocean. And the River Niger for several years there have been leap promises that it will be dredged but there has been no dredging and so the, the river is shallow so any large volume of water that comes on the River Niger flows to its bank and this is what we are suffering now. It can only be hoped that the incoming government in this country will dredge the river Niger to avert this problem, uh, which I said, uh, you know, occurred recently in 2012. I will only hope that this will be the last uh, episode we're going to experience. But whatever be the case, um, thank God that a lot of people have been evacuated, no lives are lost. And um, so that's it for now. Asaba, Tobolu, by sea. Chicken the river.